swooping in to take what the major parties thought was rightfully theirs. <laughs> Just how effective can Parliament's new crossbenchers be? Independent Andrew Wilkie's parliamentary career began with a hung parliament, which he used to negotiate a deal with Julia Gillard. But it was torn up 18 months later, when the government reneged on Pokey's reform. I learned that you're actually better not to have a formal deal and to approach every single vote, every single issue on its merits. Crossbenchers are usually more influential if a government doesn't have the numbers on the floor. But it doesn't take much for a majority to be reduced to perilously low numbers. So governments are usually keen to keep independence on side. And that's, that's meant that from time to time I've been able to attract uh, uh, some funding for some projects in my electorate, so that's good. Uh, and I think we're going to have a repeat of that in the next three years where the numbers are going to be very, very tight. It's not all about funding. Independents can also exert influence with private members' bills. And I think the fact that uh, so many more independents have been elected shows that there's a lot of influence that comes from the crossbench. In the last parliament, crossbenchers often backed each other on issues of common ground. One person might introduce legislation, uh, another uh, member of the crossbench would second it. That doesn't mean they'll work together all the time. We don't hunt as a pack, we're not a party, we're very, very different. Major parties will be hoping some of these independents are one-hit wonders. But those who are perceived as a genuine and vocal representative can hold their seat for decades, like Bob Catter. He obviously always, hasn't always been able to um, potentially uh, deliver resources like someone who is in government, uh, but he is returned because he is able to raise issues of importance um, to that seat. While it's unclear if the move to independence is a permanent trend, they'll at least be shaking up the next three years. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.